Today is uh, December 10th, 2014. We're with uh, Rob Dewar, uh, head of the C-Series program at Bombardier, to uh, get an update on the status. Uh, Rob, uh, 2014 was a year of uh, challenges and progress for the C-Series. From an external standpoint, uh, we perceive the, the major issues in a, in a certification program to be wing bending, uh, getting the engine tested in shape, uh, flutter tests, and uh, the fly-by-wire software. It seems that you're uh, making great progress on each of those. Is it all downhill from, from here? And can you tell us about the results of those tests so far? Yeah, sure, Ernie. So, uh, yeah, those are good points. So, you know, in the program, there is uh, a lot of challenge. So, of course, the, uh, a lot of technology in the aircraft. Um, so right now, you know, to be honest, I'm pretty uh, comfortable where we are. We've gotten through, uh, I'd say the majority of the critical and risk areas have now been completed. Uh, so a couple of points you mentioned. Really, the um, you know the static testing for the aircraft overall is now completed, and of course the most critical test for that is with the uh, wing. So we have a new technology, carbon fiber wing, which uh, we had a very good result. We completed uh, the certification testing about 10 days ago, so a lot of people are breathing a lot easier now that that's behind us. And uh, what's great too in the results, we see some uh, some margin in the wing test, so uh, very uh, satisfied. On the other points of the program. Basically, uh, we've completed the majority of flutter testing. Those are also good as well. Those are always risk tests to, uh, to get through. And uh, the other risk that we talked about quite a bit was on the fly-by-wire, uh, the software. And uh, we're flying now daily, in some cases, uh, two or three times per day per aircraft uh, in normal mode. So that's the final software load for that. It's been uh, performing flawlessly, so that's great news. And we were concerned about that, of course. And, even though we have great simulation tools, it's really great to have it done in flight and confirm uh, the results. In fact, the performance of the aircraft has been, uh, I would say, uh, beyond expectation in terms of uh, reliability since we returned to flight test after uh, the engine incident. Uh, we've been uh, really beating our monthly targets. And in fact, in one day, we made a new Bombardier record. Uh, we had all four flight test vehicles flying at the same time and we put uh, over 17 hours of flight testing in, in that day. So, yeah, I'm smiling these days and it's good to be on the uh, this side of the mountain of the curve in terms of uh, the execution. So it sounds like you're uh, very confident that you're going to make your, uh, your schedule on time these days. Well, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable, to be honest, and uh, it really helps building confidence when the high-risk tests get through successfully and uh, with the results we had in the last few months really help everyone to build. So everyone's feeling a lot more comfortable and uh, we're just focused now on uh, executing the program and uh, getting ready for the entry into service. You've got about 650 hours in flight test already, about a quarter of the way through the, uh, the planned program. Uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of progress, you had uh, a lot of things working during the downtime, additional software updates, releases. Uh, have the earned credits exceeded the flight hour credits and uh, the flight hours? And how do you feel in terms of the flight test program going forward? Are there any constraints? Uh, you know, you have enough airplanes, you have enough pilots. Where is it going from here? And are we on the hockey stick where that ramps up dramatically? Yes, yeah, so that's a good point. So yeah, of course we estimate a number of hours for the program. That's an estimate. Really, what's, uh, what we get credit for is actually successful test points. So the hours have improved remarkably over the last few months. But more importantly, to your point, is the earned value actually is doing even better than that. So uh, what that means is you get a test, you get it done once, you get the results, you're good to go forward. In the planning, we often cater for we have to repeat some tests, so we've been doing actually uh, rather well on, on that side. That's great. Uh, FTV4 is in the air, and that's the one that's going to give you uh, performance numbers, which are scheduled for release in January. Uh, since it's been flying, I'm sure you have some preliminary numbers. Are they making you smile or making you frown at this point? I'm going to have a good Christmas, uh, Ernie. So, yeah, it's been in uh, flight for approximately 10 days, and it is the final uh, performance engines we have, and also that aircraft is in the final configuration for uh, performance testing. The data is preliminary, but it looks very encouraging. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with the results. And our plan is to release them in the end of Q1. We'll update everyone on the, uh, on the good news on the program. That sounds, uh, sounds like there's good news coming. We appreciate, uh, appreciate your input and update on the program. Thanks, Rob. Hey, thanks, Ernie. Thanks for the time. Thank you.